Hi there. Just a quick update for day one, Wednesday the 17th of August 2022. As you know, yesterday was surgery day and basically I, I couldn't ask for things to be going better than they are. It's, just, it's incredible. The recipient area is kind of scabbed over quite a bit more than yesterday to be expected really. So I keep spraying that as per instructions to keep that moist. Um, the donor area is just incredible because I was really worried about scarring and I thought yesterday it looked good. But yesterday you could see like holes, like punch, the punch holes, proper holes. Whereas that's all, they've all gone now, that's healed over already. And we're only day one, which is, yeah, that's amazing. And basically all you've got is some, there's some uh, scabbing here, which will obviously come off. Ignore the, the, the bigger sort of marks here, because I think it bled in the night. But the middle bit at the back there, you can hardly see anything. And it, it's day one. So, you know, in terms of recovery and how it's going to look, it's incredible. It's amazing. Um, the only issue I had, which wasn't a big issue, to be honest, was sleeping. And I was I kind of prepared myself. Worst case scenario, it's going to be hurting. I'm going to be in pain. But I didn't need any painkillers. So I kind of I think it lulled me into a full sense of security. So you're supposed to, it says ideally lie on your back for the drainage with your head tilted back so that the swelling is a bit swollen. Draws, drains backwards. Um, so I thought, OK, that, that's doable. I went to lie down and it just it initially just felt weird and then no pain at first for a good few minutes probably less than five three or four minutes in it just started stinging really badly so i thought oh, i had to get up try it again and it's like no there's no way i'm gonna be lying on this tonight which you know it's understandable really it had a bit of trauma um so what i did i went downstairs with a travel pillow and basically started upright on the sofa and i did manage to slowly edge my way so i was lying on the arm so not quite flat and yeah then I just I fell asleep I woke up for about an hour in the middle of the night for various reasons got back to sleep must have been about 5 30 and I, I slept right through I got woken up by screaming kids story of my life next door at 9 a.m so again like, not really a big issue to be honest certainly I can deal with it and I reckon I'm going to try tonight. I will take some painkillers before because like it says you can use the baby shampoo on the donor area, which I did today. And given I've got no pain whatsoever, like when I spray it now, it doesn't sting other than those two bits that bled when it runs into them. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of like not thinking, oh, it's all good. But when I massaged as gently as I could into it, it was quite tender, very tender. So, yeah, that's obviously where the issue is. So. But I can sleep on the sofa if I need to. But I reckon either tonight or tomorrow night I'll be back in bed. So, you know, can't really ask for anything more. I'll keep you updated. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep spraying. Which it just runs down my forehead. <laughs> Bye.